Good day students, so in this paper we're going to be going over two examples, um, actually three examples on how to use the special triangles uh, to solve the uh, chromosome sides of a right triangle, okay? So the special triangles we're going to be considering today are the 36-90 triangle and the 45-45-90 triangle, all right? So let's go ahead and go over what the special triangles look like first and then we're going to use them to solve problems, all right? So this one is the 45-45-90 triangle. This is the 90 degree angle right here. Uh, this angle is 45, and this angle is 45 degrees, okay? Let's go with the name 45-45-90 triangle. The 45-45-90 triangle is an isosceles triangle because the base angles are congruent. That means the sides opposite is congruent. Uh, base angles are congruent, so this side and this side are congruent, all right? Okay, so what are the side measures of, a, of the 45-45-90 triangle? The hypotenuse is root 2, and the legs are 1 and 1, okay? All right, for the 36-90 triangle, this is not an isosceles triangle, obviously. This is the right angle right here, 90, 90 degrees. The smallest angle, which is this one, is 30 degrees. The other angle is 60 degrees, okay? So what are the side measures of the 30-60-90 triangle? The shortest side is 1, and then followed by root 3, and the hypotenuse is 2. Okay, so we're going to be using these triangles to solve our problems. What I need you to remember is the orientation of the measures of the sides relative to the angles, okay? So for the 45, 45, 90 triangle, opposite the 45 is a side, uh, the side length measuring one unit. So opposite 45, um, you have one unit right here. And then opposite 45, you also have one. And then opposite the 90 degrees, you have root two, okay? In this case, opposite the 30 degrees, you have 1. Um, opposite the 90 degrees, you have 2. And then opposite the 60 degree angle, you have root 3. Okay, so just keep those, those in mind. All right? Okay. Now let's go ahead and take a look at question number 1. The instructions for the problems we're doing are follows. Find the value. Um, of the variables on the sides of the given triangles. All right, so for question number one, we have um, a triangle of this orientation. Let's get it for you. Alright, so of this orientation, and uh, we're, we're given the information that uh, this side is X, this side is Y, this is your right 90 degree triangle, and this is 45 degrees, okay? And this side is me measures 3 root 2. Now, if one uh, angle is 45 and this is 90, since they all add up to 90 degrees, you automatically know that this is 45 degrees. So this is going to be the 45, 45, 90 triangle. So to find X and Y, we're going to use the... We're going to use the um, 45, 45, 90 triangle. Okay? All right. So to do that, uh, we just need to remember what's opposite what. So opposite the 45, we have 1, and opposite the 90 degrees, we have root 2. So I'm going to use these numbers right here on my uh, 45, 45, 90 triangle. I'm going to use this as the denominators here, okay? So what I'm going to do is opposite the 45 is a 1. So I'll put this over 1. And this is also 45, right? This is 45. So um, opposite... This 45 is a 1, so I'm going to put this over 1 also, okay? Let me write it properly so you can see. So this was an x before. So um, since there is a 1 opposite it on the standard 45, 45, 90 triangle, I'm going to put a 1 down here. Okay, and then opposite the 90 degrees, let's go back to root 2, so I'm going to put this over root 2. Okay, so whatever is on the um, original triangle, just put them as, make them denominators here. 
All right, so to find the x and y, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set each side equal to this side right here. This is a side that I know is a number. The other side is half variables, okay? So to find x, I'm going to take x equated to this side. So I'm going to have um, x over 1 equals 3 root 2 over 1. So if I solve this, that will tell me what x is, all right? So um, if you just look at it, dividing by 1, you get us and end up with x. And then 3 root 2 divided by 1 is just 3 root 2. So there goes your answer for x. Okay. To find y, we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to set y over root 2 equal to that and then solve it. Okay, so I'm going to have y over root 2 equals 3 root 2 over 1. To solve this for y, I'll just multiply both sides by what? By root 2, right? Root 2 and root 2. And then the root 2's cancel out here. They divide out. And then I'm going to have y equals... Root 2 times root 2 is going to be 2, because root 2 times root 2 is the square root of 4, right? So the square root of 4 is 2, so this is going to be 3 times 2, and then 3 times 2 is what? 6. So the answer is y equals 6, okay? So um, x is 3 root 2, and y equals 6, okay? So there you have it. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at another example of uh, question 2. Let's say we have a uh, triangle of this orientation. It's just a sketch, it's not perfectly drawn to scale. So let's say we have a triangle with this orientation, um, and the sides are for A and B. So the goal is to look for A and B, and we're notified that this is 90 degrees, and this is uh, 30 degrees. Okay? So obviously, in this problem, we're going to um, use we're going to use the, the 30, 60, 90 triangle, right? Because if we have 30 and, four, and 90, we automatically know that this angle right here is 60, okay? So what we need to do is look at the original triangle, see what's on the sides, and then use that as the denominators here, okay? So let's look at the original triangle. Opposite the 30, I have a 1, so I'm going to put this over 1. Opposite the 60, I have root 3, so I'm going to put this side over root 3. And then opposite the 90 degree, I have 2, so I'm going to put this side over 2. So just make the sides on the standard triangle the denominators, okay? I'm going to be setting uh, both sides equal to this side right here, because this is a number, and the other sides have a variables in them, okay? So to find B, I'm going to go B over root 3 equals... 4 over 1. Okay, what I'm doing is I'm actually using uh, setting up similarity ratios right here because this is similar to the standard 30, 60, 90 triangle. So hence, we have this fraction right here. To get B isolated, I multiply both sides by root 3, and root 3. So I'll have B equals 4 root 3. So that goes the measure of side B. Okay? Alright, now let's go ahead and look for uh, side A. What I'm going to do is set this side A over 2 equal to that side, so we have a similarity ratio. So we have A over 2 equals 4 over 1. To get A by itself, I'll multiply both sides by 2. And then I'll have A equals 4 times 2 is 8. So I have A equals 8. So that goes the measure of the two sides on the tiny. So A is 8, and B is 4 root 3. Okay, so there you have it. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, one more example, question number three. Let's say we have a uh, right triangle with the following orientation. Let me just sketch it real quick. So it looks something like this. Let's turn it upside down. All right, so we have a right triangle of this orientation, and this is a 90 degree angle. And this is 6, this is x, and this is y. And we're also indicated that, notified that these two sides are congruent. Okay? If this is a ninth, is a right triangle and the two sides are congruent like this, that automatically tells me that the base angles have to be congruent. So what could they be? 
that means this is going to be 45 degrees and this angle right here is going to be 45 degrees okay all right so this is we're going to in this case we're going to use the 45 45 90 degree triangle to solve it okay so all we need is we just need all right so if you if we refer back to the um, original 45 45 90 triangle we know opposite the 45 degree is a one so opposite this is one so i'm going to put this side over one opposite the other 45 is a one and then opposite the 90 degrees is radical two or root two okay so i'm going to be setting the two sides with variables equal to this actually if i find one side is automatically going to be the other side since they're both congruent okay so I just need to solve one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go x over 1 equals 6 over root 2. Okay? So now to solve this, uh, I'm just going to x divided by 1 is x. x equals 6 over root 2. Since I cannot have a square root in the denominator, I need to rationalize. Okay? So I'll multiply root 2 to the top and bottom. And then that's going to yield x equals 6 root 2, root 2 over times root 2 is root 4, so it's going to be 6 root 2 over 2, and then we divide the numerator and the denominator by 2, right, divide by 2, divide by 2, so that's going to give us uh, 3 root 2 as a value of x, okay, so there goes x. Now since this is an isosceles triangle and these two sides are congruent, we know that uh, y is equal to x, uh, y is equal to x. So since y is equal to x, that tells me that y equals 3 root 2. Okay? So there goes the measure of the two sides. Uh, y is 3 root 2, and x is uh, 3 root 2 also. Alright? So there you have it. So thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video. Please feel free to subscribe to my channel just by clicking up here. More videos can be found on MatthewServe.com. Thanks again.